The Root Rider and the Electro Titan work together incredibly well. Let's take a look at a couple of attacks. Coming in with seven Root Riders, a couple of Electro Titans, and it looks like a Blimp with some Super Archers. Or Super Minions, possibly. Actually, with the Spell Comp. Okay, it is going to be Super Archers. Usually you see the double clone of the Super Archers, but sometimes the single clone is used as well. Trying to get this Town Hall down. A couple more shots. There we go. Should be able to get the Monolith as well. It's the Expo. There we go. Now they're going for that Monolith. And they get it. Nicely done. Not using that last invis. You can use it for the heroes now. As we've got the full send on the Root Riders from the top right side of the base. Gonna push into that multi-compartment King Electro Titan to walk the outside. Alright, the healers are onto the Root Riders as well. Gonna heal them up as they move through the base. Ops Warden's ability keep everything protected here. Root Riders kind of drifting away, but they should make their way back. Now goes the Expo. King will go back to the outside. Nice. The timing worked out pretty well. We'll use the Invis for the RC on the core of the base. She'll take down the enemy RC. She has to go to ability here, but she will go down in that tornado. King grabs the multi. Root Riders still cruising. Hopefully this King can wrap around and get to that cannon on the bottom side, but no, he's going to go to the inside of the base. Going to get a little bit tricky here on the very back end. But he's got a lot of Root Riders still left alive. He still has healing on the Root Riders. They probably won't be going down anytime soon. He still has a Rage left as well. There's that Rage for the back end of the base. we got the Tesla Farm to scatter the defensive Rage and Expo. It's a lot of damage on defense and offense right here. Pops King's ability. That King swinging through two Teslas in a single smack. That Giant Gauntlet is OP. Queen goes to ability, grabs the multi Archer Tower, and this is absolutely crushed. Look at all the Root Riders he still has left alive. Those healers doing a fantastic job keeping them healthy. The only defense left is that Wizard Tower. Just a matter of cleanup after this point. Still has two Electro Titans on the outside as well. Plus, the Queen's going to get healed up, maybe. Ah, uh, the healers are going to ignore her. Doesn't matter. No damage on her anyway. GG. What an opener here for Vista Ridge. Kicking it off with an overwhelming three-star. Last few buildings. And there we go. 40 seconds to spare. He's bringing in a bit of a Titan Smash. A couple of Root Riders in the mix. I think that's something that's going to be more common with Titan Smashes. Help them get through the walls, especially early on. We do have that Flame Flinger to kick it off at 9 o'clock. The Flame Flinger is going to get some time to work. It's going to set the funnel with the Queen on the right side. No Warden Walk in this one. The Queen has her typical setup. The King has the Giant Gauntlet. And the Warden has the Healing Tome. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that. It's the only real difference here. I mean, the Giant Gauntlet's new, but everybody's running it because it's so OP. All right, Queen's continuing to push her way in. She should be able to get, grab this ricochet cannon, drops the invis, gets the damage off the Queen, and gets her focus off of the skellies. And the cannon does go down. Perfect. He's got some skellies moving up to that flinger, but he's got the Yeti there to deal with that recall on the Queen. Honestly, didn't even realize he had a recall. Is he going to put her back in is the question. Probably at 12, yep. All right, Queen from 12, and that's where the smash is gonna go. Here we go, full send it from the top side of the base. We got the Electro Titans, we got the Ice Golem. The Warden is now in as well with the Queen. And there we go, the Root Riders. I think he just dropped the King in as well. Yep, the King is in. So full send from the top. We got a nice funnel off that left side with the Flame Flinger. That should push the troops into the core. Root Riders will get in there and help open up these walls, but we do hit that Tornado first of all. Actually, I think the walls are busting as the tornado spins those Root Riders around. So he still is able to get that opened up. Pops Warden's ability. We got that Healing Atome, giving these troops their health back as they push in towards this Town Hall compartment. But we got Ice Golems out of the defensive CC. That's certainly going to slow things down in the core of the base. So everything's going to be hanging out in the Town Hall Poison for a bit. Which isn't really ideal, but at least we have the healers there. Help keep some of that HP, but they're getting pretty low. See if they're able to stay alive here. They got through those ice golems really fast, it seems. Did they take them all out at the same time? I don't know. Royal Champion from the right side. See if he's got enough to get through. Pops the RC's ability. Yeah, there's nothing left on defense now. Just that multi archer tower on the left side. He's got it. 50 seconds in the bag. He still has a rage, still has a free, still has Queen's ability. It's going to be more than enough to get this one done. No Tesla's going to hold this one back. 
Nicely done to Simon and Repotted Gaming are going to capitalize on that defense and they're going to be up by a star. GG. And there we have it, the Electro Titan and the Root Rider coming together for some great attacks. If you guys want to see the Grand Warden's new Rage Gym in action, you guys can see that in this video right here.